when. God made sure of that. Today, a reality TV star learned he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. A judge sentenced Tim Norman for being the mastermind of his nephew's death. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Tim Norman was known for being on the show Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Today, families learned his fate at the federal courthouse in downtown St. Louis. That's where our Justina Cornell joins us live with reaction. Justina. Yeah, and so there were two different reactions. For Norman's side of the family, they were somber and hugging it out after the sentencing. As for the victim's side of the family, they said this was everything they wanted to hear. Relatives rejoice over justice and celebrate a life sentence. Thank you, God. Thank you, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Victory. Yeah, yeah. Victory. Yeah. Finally, I can breathe. Yeah. Seven years I've been holding my breath. Andre Montgomery's mother and her side of the family are at ease, knowing 43-year-old Tim Norman will be locked up in federal prison. If I got to do life, he's going to do life. Yeah. And I want him to know that I know that he did. Michelle Griggs lost her 21-year-old son, Andre Montgomery Jr., March of 2016. Six years later, a jury found his uncle, Tim Norman, guilty of taking out a life insurance policy of $450,000 on his nephew's name and then having him killed. He's not a statistic. Norman and his family gained national attention after being on the show Welcome to Sweetie Pies, a St. Louis soul food chain owned by his mom, Robbie Montgomery. In the show, Norman's attorneys say he portrayed kind actions, and it's because Norman wanted to pay it forward. He went to to jail at a very young age, 17, and kind of grew up in a prison and kind of against all odds was able to make a success out of his life and really give back to the St. Louis community. But Judge John Ross said Norman had an incredibly dark side. Assistant U.S. attorneys say his history and characteristics on camera don't measure up to what happened behind closed doors. It was a series of events that made it absolutely clear what had happened and that Tim Norman was the architect of all of it. For now, his attorneys will continue playing defense. Tim was always just, after the verdict, focused on the appeal. So his efforts are really centraled on that. And I think there's almost a sign of relief that he can get started on that process. Montgomery's family says their fight is finally over. I knew God was in control. Yeah. And I knew that he was going to get what he's supposed to get. And he got exactly what he deserved. Now, Norman didn't say much in court earlier today, but he was vocal last week on social media. He posted on Instagram claiming his innocence and wrote hashtag innocent. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Christina Cornell, five on your side.